world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, I don't know when you're going to see this video. It might be the first one or the last one. I'm making a few videos um, today because I haven't been making videos for a while. I also have a few videos that I never actually released. Um, one is just me taking bark off logs. Okay, and the other one is a fire. I'm, I videoed a fire on a Sunday night for an hour. So if you want to go look at a fire for an hour, I don't know, people like that, then you can do that. But today we're not talking about that. Today we are talking about this one. The Rough Rider Hawkbill Folding Knife. There we have it. RR1144. There it says something and there it says, for many years, Rough Rider, I cannot see. Just read that on your own. Okay. Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Rider. Okay, and this is what we got. Beautiful bone handle. Put it like that and it looks cool. Okay, beautiful bone handle. That looks quite nice. And it's nice and smooth. Nothing on the bolsters except the beautiful little ring. A bit dirty. But I don't see any real gapping anywhere. Wait a second. There is a bit. Cross liners. Nickel silver bolsters. Match strike pull. You're seeing me and you're seeing me without my spectacles. Um, and then super shiny blade. This is quite awesome. Okay, now I love hawk balls for working knives. Uh, okay, I'm not going to go fish one out now. But I love hawk balls for working knives. So how about get a pocket knife with a hawk ball that actually looks quite cool. Okay, this thing says the normal um, razor sharp stainless steel and then the code and made in China and on the other side we have the horseshoe. Beautiful. Okay, so I quite like this. Now I'm going to try and carry this thing, not for a pruner or a bolt-on knife. Well, actually, it will work for that also. But I'm going to try to use this thing for an EDC knife for a few days and see if I can actually do everything I do. Because as an EDC knife, I'm not really going to be doing food prep on a surface because these things are useless for that. And I'm not really going to, I don't know, chop vegetables. So I'm going to carry this for a few days and see how it works. Also, I want to see people's reactions because if you take out the pocket knife, something like this, this is the decathlon uh, button locking knife, which is actually quite cool. Now, if you take out something like this, people kind of expect that. But if you take out a hawk ball, immediately, you're going to make people think that this is some kind of belly ripper or monstrosity designed to do your fellow man harm. Anyway, um, so I'm going to carry this and see what happens. Quite a good snap to it. I really hope that's hitting on the stop pin and not one of the pins. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like there's pins sticking out. My little ictus knife, my little one with the fish on it. Um, the small blade hits against the bottom, um, what do you call it? It's not the pin, but the, the back spring. So it hits against that, so it makes a little flat spot. I really hope this one doesn't work like that. Um, do we have paper anywhere around here? And as always, I do not. Right, let's cut this thing. Okay, this is quite sharp. Okay, so even from the factory, it's sharp, which is good because sharpening hawk balls and 
inner radiuses on knives becomes quite a chore because normally what I do is I take a round thing and then I put a piece of sandpaper around it and sharpen it like that. So, I'm not going to do that immediately. This thing is sharp enough for everyday use. Yeah, it feels quite good. Okay, so there we go. Beautiful hawk ball, beautiful bone, simple, doesn't have a lot of, um, what do you call it? I know some people are complaining about the R's on the bolsters. This one has nothing like that. Beautiful brass pins, everything is smooth. I can't feel any transitions anywhere. This is actually great quality for a quite inexpensive knife. And as I always say, here in South Africa, we pay way more for these things than overseas. Um, this one was 500 and something rand, but still 500 and something, still a bargain. And I got these from Take A Lot. Okay, so stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye. Thank you.